I'm a lesbian, right? Um, yes. Okay, so that's it. That's what? Huh, I, I really like you. I like you too. More than I should. So, I just think if we just, you know, don't spend time no. together. No, I just found you. And I know we can get around this. And you can have all of me. All of it except for that. Just so you know, that is a big deal for a lesbian. <laughs> Elena Undone is a story of how a wife of a pastor and photographer Elena meets the writer Peyton when at an adoption seminar. I uh, heard you talking. Um... Why do you want to do this alone? Uh, well, it hadn't really been the plan, but you know what? It's a long story. Right. I've got to be going. Okay. Um, do you have a card? I'm always looking for photographers. And I do. When their paths happen to cross again, their lives become entangled. Hey. Hey. Peyton, you're so brave to want to have a baby on your own. And you never thought about getting married. Oh, I was married. What happened? I don't know. My partner couldn't handle all the time I spent with my ailing mother. Your partner? Your, um... Gay. gay. I think that that is just fine. <laughs> I don't want you to think that it's a problem for me, because it's really not. I mean, why would it be? But... <laughs> <laughs> Something really ridiculous. You're fine. There is a palpable attraction between the women that neither can acknowledge at first, but as time goes on, Peyton realizes she can't continue to ignore it and tries to break it off. This leads to Elena's realization that she might not be as straight as she thought. The film is based on the true story of how the writer and director of the movie, Nicole Kahn, and her partner, Marina Rice Bader, who has a number of lesbian films under her belt, met. Having seen a few of their other movies, this is by far my favourite, although it's not necessarily because it's a good film. It has that low-budget 2000s made-for-TV kind of vibe, which in and of itself is not necessarily a bad thing, but the two leads aside, I found the supporting cast paled in comparison to the performances from both Nikar Zedigan and Thunderbird Dinwiddie. The chemistry was palpable and elevated what was otherwise an unremarkable script. I believe their attraction to each other and watching them grow closer felt authentic. It's this, and while well, the fact that there is a steamy three-minute kiss and proper love scenes, which, given many lesbian storylines, were being desexualized around the 2010s made it stand out. Even now, re-watching it for this video, there was a kind of comfort to the film precisely for its made-for-TV vibe. It has the security of all of those formulaic rom-coms or hallmark movies in the sense that it's predictable, you know it's going to end well, and along the way you get to watch two beautiful people fall in love and make out. Added to that is the fantasy of falling in love with a straight woman who turns out to not be so straight after all. And look, it happens, but it's not happened to me, so I guess there is an element of wish fulfillment in there. It just hits a particular kind of craving. But you will have to be lectured through the When Harry Met Sally style interviews that are interjected throughout the film and the unnecessary clips of Tyler doing his two camera moments. It highlighted some of the limited performances by the supporting cast as well as pointed to some of the limitations of the script writing, namely how it belaboured the message of the film so explicitly when it would have benefited from leaving it out, at least in my opinion. That said, I wouldn't be reviewing this video if I didn't still think it was worth checking out, not just for itself, but also as a film that, along with others, paved the way for the following decade of lesbian cinema to emerge that had a specifically female-centric gaze. If you would like to check the movie out, take a look in the description for a link. I look forward to hearing your thoughts about this film in the comments. Until next time, lady lovers.